My name is Chris Schultz. I am a critical care paramedic and nurse at Advanced Critical Transport. I'm going to discuss briefly magnesium sulfate in pediatric asthma and reactive airway disease. A little bit of background, magnesium is actually the fourth most abundant ion in the body. And its bronchodilatory effects were actually first theorized back in 1912 by Dr. Frederick Trendelenburg, and it was actually noticed in bovine studies. It has been a mainstay in pediatric asthma for 20 years. It's a smooth muscle relaxant. We do know it has some bronchodilatory properties. There's a lot of disagreement on how it works. One of the things that is pretty well accepted is that it does work in moderate to severe asthma exacerbations. Dosing of magnesium sulfate in pediatric asthma reactive airway is facility specific. I've seen anything 25 all the way up to 100 milligrams per kilogram and given over 10 to 20 minutes. Our protocol here is that we give 25 to 50 milligrams per kilogram and it's to be given over 10 minutes to a max of two grams. We carry eight grams total of magnesium on board the ambulance for use in various protocols so we always have plenty of it on hand. In terms of to give it or not to give it, there's really not a lot of downsides to giving it to a pediatric patient. You may cause some flushing, you may cause some depressed reflexes. If it's given too quickly, it can cause hypotension. In acute asthma exacerbation, typically you don't notice any of that. There was concern years ago that it would cause serum magnesium bumps. That's been proven to be not accurate at all.